Hi there, my name's Tony, and together with a fabulous group of volunteers, we run the Five Bells Computer Club, which helps seniors with their laptops, smartphones, and tablets. When it comes to hosting meetings, there are several things that crop up again and again. They seem to set up their meeting, and yet they can't find their friends when they try to join the meeting later. This video will attempt to explain how and why that is happening. The way I like to think about the Zoom meeting IDs is that they're actually the number for a meeting room on the internet. So if you think about, you know, you want to meet your friends in room number 12 and you end up going to room number six and you're waiting for your friends in room number six, of course you're not going to meet up with them because they're waiting for you in room 12. So that seems to be a common problem. This is showing the first pitfall. If you have scheduled a meeting in advance and you're trying to get into it, you do not want to click the new meeting button because that will just start a new meeting. You want to go to the meetings tab up the top and when you have clicked on that meetings button at the top of your screen, you come into a window that looks like this. Um, now you can see that the, the meetings button is showing blue. That's showing you where we are. So the temptation is when you first get into this scheduled meetings window is you want to click the start button. But if you do click the start button, you're going to start whichever meeting is showing over here. So if you click this button now, you will end up going to my personal meeting, which is actually a way of starting an instant meeting. So you don't want to start a new instant meeting. You want to go to the meeting that you set up earlier. If you look at my scheduled meeting, it has a different number from the one showing on the right hand side. So if I were to click the start button now, it would not take me here, it takes me there. So once you're in your scheduled meeting area, what you should do is click on that and you want to make sure that the meeting you want to open is highlighted in blue and then you click the start button. Once you've clicked the start button, you go straight into the, your meeting, the meeting that you're hosting. The one that you scheduled earlier and you may or may not find your friends there. Another change that Zoom have made fairly recently is that they've made a waiting room the default place for people to arrive at when they uh, click to join a meeting. So your friends may all be waiting in a waiting room and you wouldn't necessarily know. This text box appears on your screen and it disappears very quickly. This Here it's telling me that the person on the Galaxy phone has entered the waiting room for this meeting and I need to press the blue button to admit them. Now that's all well and good if I do that fairly quickly, but this pop-up black box that's there doesn't stay on the screen very long and it disappears very quickly. But you will notice that the participants button has changed to an orange colour. If your text message has disappeared, you click the participants button, it opens the participants window on the right hand side of your screen and here you can see that the person on the galaxy is in the waiting room and I have the chance to admit them to the room and once you click admit then they come into the room and then you hear the doorbell ring when they arrive at the waiting room, so you can you let them in from there. So if all goes according to plan, everybody should arrive in your meeting room without any problems now, and you should be able to meet them there. So I hope that has helped to clarify where some of you may be going wrong when you schedule your Zoom meetings in advance. Stay in, stay safe, stay well, and maybe see you again soon. Bye.